I hate you. Oh, okay. I think this opened. I thought it was just like a kill room. Uh, okay. Here. This is one of these loud rooms. Uh, I'm just gonna try to get through this as fast as possible. It's it's actually these enemies over here. Those fucking things. That boy right there. He loves to make screeching fucking noises and spin around. More gurneys. A dog. I didn't know he was here. A fucking dog. Oh, okay. I to you know, I totally forgot where the nutcracker was. I like okay. So later on in the game you have to get past a nut and bolt and you can't really undo them with your hands. Uh and you use an actual nutcracker. And I think it's funny because you're using like an industrial tool to open a nut now. Just a jewel. I got a moonstone. I got a Vava Clefairy. I'm sorry. It's just a type of jewel, not really from the moon. It was inside the walnut somehow. How do you put something in a walnut? Unless it's an artificial nut. Or did she say anything? This pattern looks like it could have been drawn in blood. I bet it's some sort of cursed symbol. No wonder my head hurts, and I feel so awful when I look at it. Brown. I don't need to keep saving, really. Ah. Oh, another thing. Apparently this is a sports shop. Like what? Alright. Alright, sports shop. There's another one of those ribs. Oh, what? It's unlocked? Where does that lead? Um, okay, are we missing anything? I don't think so. I want to get to a more exciting area, though. Oh, next. Ah. The next area, I think, is actually my least favorite. There's some there's some cool stuff that you can do, and it's still it's still a good area. It's just I, I feel like it's not as interesting as uh, some of the other areas in the game. It's uh, the subway level because I, I feel like most of the uh, scenery is like reoccurring, and you don't really feel like you're in a cool new place. Like look at this. Look at I, now I'm in dirty shelf room. That's so fun. I'm having a great time. Uh, I think I went the wrong way. Now I'm in big, uh, dirty mall. I'm having a great time. This is early. Really... Yeah. All right. Now they filled this room with fucking. What are you doing? There's two of them. The boys. Guys, I'm trying to beat this fucking hard riddle. I guess I can actually fucking kill an enemy, friends. Not him. Get the one behind you. Fucking stop being a little dick. <laughs> stop. I'll kill you. I think you should be killed. I don't even know where he is, I can't even see him, he's so short. Hey, there you are. Hey! You're being a fucking brat. Get out of the way. <laughs> Heather doesn't give a shit. Just curb stomped. That poor animal. Okay. Oh, we have the moonstone. Okay. Uh. I remember the door was like kind of forward. Yeah, okay. And there's three of those fucking dicks in here. Numb bodies. Yeah, there they are. Ooh. Ooh. I really want to play this game on the channel with someone who's never played it before. I think... I know me, Charles, Diana have played this. I'm 
my god, guys, what are you doing up there? You're being so rude. Honestly? Oh, fuck you. Wait, I want to read this. It's locked. The door has a red crescent. Seat. Something's written here, the same color red. Oh my god, you're gonna fucking kill me. Good thing, I... <laughs> Good thing that's not like a proper puzzle. It's just kind of a uh, flavor text, kind of. Okay, go, 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 go. I think this teleports us to the boss. And you can't return from the boss. Yeah, yeah, that's the ladder to the boss. I didn't realize it like presented it that way. Cool. Oh, this game has so many like fun parts too. Like uh, later on you go to the amusement park and there's like a haunted house level. Like a fake haunted house that you have to get through. The first boss is literally a penis. <laughs> Uh, there's, there's another part in this, in, uh, one of the hospital level, where, uh, you're just getting stalked the whole time. I think that's really cool. Uh, about this boss, it's supposed, it's called the split worm, and it's supposed to be a giant worm, but it just looks like a big uncircumcised cock. Uh, if you want to go into theories and stuff... Uh, I think you could tell where uh, cock would come in, in uh, a theme of pregnancy. It's all their fault. Yeah, check this guy out. Am I gonna get banned on Twitch <laughs> for putting this up? That's how bad it is. Look, it looks just like a penis. It has the teeth and everything. Okay, but that looks silly, but what would you actually do in real life if that, <laughs> if that came out of you? Uh, let's just do it with the handgun. No, these are shirts. Oh, we have a bunch of crap already. I think the lighting in this game is really good too. He's actually pretty scary if he just comes out in the dark. Okay, why are you. Can I move? Oh, he's coming out again. Yeah, check that out. Ow. I don't know what game I'm used to where L2 is to ready your weapon. Heather, get up! Heather! I did it again. I had L2 instead of L2. I'm embarrassed I got hurt. He really can't really do much to you. Unless you go like right in his face. There we go. Oh. Of course when I'm on stream I'm gonna embarrass myself. Alright, let's uh... Alright, my controller's shaking. Shaking like a motherfucker. Get up, Heather. Heather's painin'. She's painin'. That's good enough. Uh, uh, good strategy is to manually reload, so then you don't do the reload animation and you waste time. Cool. I can't believe you got two hits on me, fucking. Ooh, look at that floppy piece of skin. Nice. Just blowing in the breeze. Damn, it's already 3.30 already. Ooh. 
And now we're back in the normal mall. Sorry about that. All right, we got a lot of stories here. We got two sunshine princesses in the same mall. We got a royal grill since 1977. Ow, oh, there's something in my eye. Ooh, the natural shop. Is that a horse or a dog? We don't know. Bluebell. There was another bluebell. Come on. Come on, Silent Hill. Blue Marine Surf Shop. Are we even in a coastal town? Who knows? Cafe Paradise Room. I think we were actually in a Cafe Paradise. Purple, purple side? What is their logo? Two chairs? Purple side. Rolls off the tongue. Key of Beauty. Oh, look, they even made like a little logo for it. <laughs> Key of Beauty. It's like Zales. What else we got? Gatekeeper. What the hell's in there? Orange Field. Oh, Newsboy! Why is there a store called Newsboy? Uh, can I go in news? I can't go in newsboy. Sorry, sorry, newsboy. Uh, Ruby Coffee Company closed. There's a coffee company. Allie's ice cream in the mall, which is the right way to go because I want to. That's the right way to go. What's up? We already know that's Allie's ice cream. Lilan? Lion? Accessories? What's done here? I love shit like this, like the background stuff that you'd never see. Havoc's Business Daily. Like, what are these things? Where'd they get pictures for this? Did they actually scan a, a magazine? I know you're thinking, who the hell cares? But I kind of do. What's that? White Town. White Town. What's that? I don't know if you can read that. Wow, this is huge. Oh, I think there's an Easter egg too. Oh, this was uh, the bookstore. I don't think it's the same one. We might have two bookstores in the same mall. Can you go in the bathroom? Creepy stuff always happens in the women's bathroom in Silent Hill. I, I think it's in all of them too. I know there's an Easter egg, and I think it's, I think it's around here. You can actually see screenshots from Silent Hill 2 in one of the store windows. I don't know where it is though. I've never actually seen it myself either. I'm interested. I know that um, it's a. Oh, there's Happy Burger. There's where we literally started the game. I don't know what that is. It's just two lions. You can actually go in Happy Burger again. Happy Burger. What's that? Oh, save. She didn't say anything about the save, though. I wish they called it Happy Burger, but they just say Burger Shop. Happy Burger. Nice. There's a ton of supplies in Happy Burger, if I remember. Yeah, there we go. Health drinks? Any health drinks? I love the health drink. Burn through those pretty quick. What is that? Beef jerky. Beef jerky. You can actually read. It says king size. There's just pictures of cheeseburgers and stuff. 
That's cool. You actually go in have to oh. Yeah, maybe the Easter egg's in here. This is like a reoccurring store after all. Uh okay. Where is the Easter Uh I think if you go through here I don't think you can come back. Alright, I guess we missed the Easter egg, whatever. It's not even Easter. Oh, was that epic there? Heather. I'm gonna raise the game volume. You must be one of them. What did I do? What do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She has to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened to you? And that monster. What I wonder, I always wonder what Douglas saw. He references that monster, but I don't know if he's talking about the split worm or if just a monster is hanging out with him in the lobby over here. I wonder if he actually I went to the other world too. I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. If you I'm a no mom. What are you talking about? What's so special about oh, the music you? cue? The music in this game is so good. I, wouldn't be so confused, would I? I think the last person who was actually still hanging on in uh Team Silent and stuff was the guy who made the music, Akira Yamaoka. I wish the person who designed the monster stuck around. Um, I think I'm gonna butcher his name, but I think his name is Mashihiro Ito. Oh, he's so cool. He actually has some um, art of uh, other monsters he made. I don't know if necessarily for Silent Hill, but uh, they're on like his personal website, just hanging out. What, what am I supposed to do? I don't care. So yeah. Alright, actually right here I am just gonna take like a two minute break and go get a glass of water, go take a little tinkle, get some stuff done, so I will be right back. Check this out, check this out. Boom. Hey babes, we're back. Um, I got myself a red bull, so we're gonna pep this fucking playthrough up. Like I said, we're probably up to, um, not to say it's a bad area, but it's probably my least favorite if I had to pick one. Because I always get lost here. Every single time. It's fucking lame. Uh, there is like a really cute little ad with a cat right here. I gotta put my drink down. Oh my god. Um, it's gonna get fucking knocked over there because we're playing with a corded PS2 thing instead of the fucking uh, growing strong and healthy Minmo. Cat Foods Minmo. Is that Comic Sans? Ah. Oh. Ooh, I found you. Comic Sans, boy. I'm using Comic Sans. Like, it's not even a big deal. What's that? Fr fruity. Oh, I thought this said Fruity and Rough. Fruity Rouge. It's like makeup. Makeup at the subway. Advertising. Eco. Fucking Comic Sans. Eco actions. Think about Earth Day. Is that a duckling in someone's hand? What the hell is that? I 
Uh, there are some cool stuff that you could do in the subway with a ghost. Oh, that's not the right way to go. Bah. See, but everything looks all the same. I think it sucks. This way? Did I come from this way? I also know the map is kind of like in a weird spot, I remember. I don't know exactly where. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is what happens when you try to go back. I've got no use for that place anymore. I'd rather get back home on the double. Alright, on the double, Heather. It's okay, it's alright. This kind of looks like the subways in New York, except imagine um, garbage just everywhere and homeless people that are aggressive. Lots of fun. Hang on a second. Okay. I'd be cool if you can go in the bathrooms here. Something creepy usually happens in there. That's it. Smash your trash, dude. Wow, a phone in the subway like that? I can't see that anymore. I wonder if they actually had that. I, I don't remember seeing anything like that when I was younger around the city. Oh, here's the... This is cool. So if you read this newspaper and also read a book... I don't know where the book is. We'll find it. Um, you can trigger an event that happens. There's a newspaper left on top of the ticket machine. Fatal accident at Hazel Street. At about 11 p.m. on the 4th, a man waiting on the platform at the Hazel Street station fell onto the tracks and was decapitated by the arriving St. Renata college-bound train. The victim died instantly. When police have not, police, uh, while the police have not yet determined whether the death was an accident or suicide, witnesses report that the victim did not look inebriated and seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. That kind of sounds like it was on purpose. The victim's identity is still unknown. He was approximately 40 years old, 5 foot 10 inches tall, and was wearing a black jacket. Sounds like Harry Mason. This newspaper is four months old. Why is it doing here now? It is really weird that it's four months old. Uh, I wonder where the book is. There's a lot of phones. No, you know what? We have to look for the map. It's in a weird place. It's like... I feel like it's around this area. Not here. I feel like it's by one of the ticketing booths, I want to say. Uh, to be honest, I, I really don't even know if the map will even be a huge help here because I usually just wander around until I get where I'm going. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure we have to go to Hazel Street, but all the stations are Hazel Street, I think. This might even be the Hazel Street... Uh, train station for all I know. Uh, okay. I can't go in there. It's locked. Let's check back this way. There's just phones everywhere in the fucking subway. Bathrooms, you can't... Oh, here's the ticket booth. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, uh, there's the map. I knew it was around here. Okay, I'm, I'm glad that I have it. Uh, there's some more cool stuff in the subway, but you kind of, you kind of have to find your way around. Oh, what's this? Good quality, good taste. Prince, Prince what? Oh, not Prince, Price. Something. Price down? That's a good name for a store. Price down? Price down. Get a cheap thing. Uh, Bergen Street. St. Renata College. Is this where... 
Is this where that guy died? Uh, it actually might be. Uh, you can tell if you see a book on the ground. I'm gonna try to trigger the event. Yeah, the book, okay. I read this a long time ago. It's nothing like, it, it's a, ah, it's a nothing little occult magazine. It seemed like a bunch of crap to me. It's not so bad if you just read it for fun though. The souls of those who died suddenly by suicide or accident don't realize they're dead. Sometimes they stay put and haunt that particular place. These spirits have lost their human senses and memories and can only keep replaying the pain and sadness the moment they died. The pain can get so bad that they turn to humans for salvation or they begrudge humans their lives. At such times they can possess humans. Places known as famous suicide spots or high accident areas are often to blame. You should be careful when approaching these locations, especially on the day or at time, at the time of death. At the time the death occurred, Jesus. That is, if you don't want it to happen to you, too. And Heather goes, what a bunch of fucking crap. 